Hello, this is your boy Miguel from the Mo Mechanic 757. You know how we get down. I have the professional gauges that I use to recharge vehicles. I have two sets for the one in the new Freon and the 134A, which is the older Freon. And today we're gonna to recharge a air condition using something that you will buy in the store. So you will look for the low side which on this particular trailblazer, it's gonna be the biggest hose and it's gonna be on the receiver and dryer. She doesn't have any Freon in the vehicle whatsoever. With that being the case, her air conditioning compressor is not gonna cut on. It has a low cutoff switch, which is right here, cuts off the uh, compressor when the Freon is too low to keep it from uh, destroying itself. There's also a high pressure switch, which I can't show you because uh, it's buried. Uh, that keeps the vehicle from um, engaging itself if it's overcharged. So the point of this video, I'm not gonna do the whole entire thing because I'm not gonna make this a long drawn out video. When you are using this kind of gauge, you are not gonna go by the green, yellow, or the red. There are numbers up there, which are extremely important. These are the PSI for how much according to the temperature and how much freon you need you cannot put just put it on green and move on freon and pressure ambient temperature works hand in hand so we're going to come over to this pressure charge i do not need it but right now let's find out the temperature so we're going to go to my work van and we're going to see it says it's 86 degrees So since it's 86 degrees, let's find out what the pressure chart said, how much I should do with this Freon. So we're gonna come down to 85 degrees. So I need to have it on the low side at 45 through 55 PSI. And these are the numbers that I was articulating to you about. So with that being said, make sure that you pause this and take a picture of whatever you need to do. This is the complete chart of the temperature outside, ambient temperature, and the pressure that's gonna be on this gauge that you must match. If you do not match it, it is like putting antifreeze in a cold radiator and you're gonna think, where did it go? You did not let the system antifreeze get through the whole entire car and the thermostat open so you're thinking that you have a leak you just didn't do it right so i'm going to bring her again 85 degrees 45 psi that's where i'm going to bring her to after i get done i'm going to let it run for five to ten minutes and i'm going to watch the gauge and then i'm going to turn it off then the needle should actually go to what the temperature is outside it should never go this way after I let it sit for 15 minutes, that means there is a leak in your system and how fast it goes is how bad your leak is. This is just a mechanic tip. I am trying to help everybody out the best of my ability. I'm here for you. I thank you for being wonderful subscribers and my future subscribers. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I'm here for you, thank you.